everybody from Calhoun, Georgia, getting ready to go on a trip a little bigger than what I've been doing recently. We're going to go to Nashville to pick up a trailer there that had a, a hole knocked in its roof. So we had to take it to the, uh, the dealer there to put a whole new roof on. So let's get going. Just did a pre-trip. The truck is running really good here. Got a white Volvo today. And uh, it's 5 o'clock in the morning, not 4 o'clock. And we're going to get going on the road with you guys. So welcome along. I'm Indiana Jack. Okay, we're here at Monteagle washing the windshield. The bugs do they splat on the windshield, so let's get them clean and uh, we'll get some coffee if this Averett moves and then we'll get on our way again on a trip to Nashville. Glad to have you along. Gotta get these bugs off here. There we go. We're not trying to make it really shiny, just just some of the major bugs. All right, we ran in and got our coffee and the Averett is still there. And many of you ask me in messages, what do truck drivers do in there that takes so long? It's like one of the mysteries of trucking. We don't know, but we're patiently waiting for him to move and then we will continue our trip to Nashville. we did an auditing, a log auditing show. If you didn't watch last week, then you should go back and watch that. It was kind of interesting to see different sides of trucking. Well, this is, uh, now we're on the outside. I'm a driver, and this is what my logs look like right now as I'm driving, or just another driver who's using Keep Trucking. Uh, this is what his logs would look like uh, if he were driving. And you can't do anything to the screen, really. Well, you can minimize it and take a call or something like that, but you can't monkey around with the logs uh, while a driver is driving because it's connected to the truck. So, kind of an interesting look since we're uh, kind of been in a theme of logging lately electronic logging. Uh, this is uh, what it looks like for the driver driving. Hello, this is Jack. Yes, I can hear you fine. I have my headphone on. Good morning. Yeah, I'm about halfway there. You're kidding me. Oh my gosh. Well, what do you want me to do now? I'm on the freeway. The options are 
go to Nashville and stay in a hotel until tomorrow, but are we sure it's going to be ready tomorrow? If they, oh my gosh. All right. Yeah, we don't, I'm not going to come back until I know it's done and out of the shop. All right, I'll turn around and come back. All right. You're never going to believe this. The shop just called our office, the shop where I'm picking up this trailer, and they made a mistake, and the trailer is not done. And uh, so now I'm halfway here. The options are either to go to Nat, finish the trip, go to Nashville, stay in a hotel, or go back to the office and then come next week sometime. I, that's what I'm going to do. If you add up the math, it's probably about 50 50. Hotel would be $80, $100 in Nashville. And then, or driving back to Calhoun, it's not quite $80, but time. All right. Sorry, you guys. This is ridiculous. So we're going to turn around and go back to Calhoun and pick up the trailer another day. What a waste. What an absolute waste. Each morning I enjoy a big cup of coffee from Pilot Flying J with my buddy Hershey. We love watching Adventures in Trucking with Indiana Jack. Uh, it's nice to be quiet. We're almost back to uh, Calhoun, but I had to stop for a minute. We're at a little old truck stop I used to come to in, I think this is Dalton. I haven't been here in many years. Let's check it out and uh, see what's going on. I need to stretch my legs, so. Why don't you guys come in with me and we'll just see what's in there these days. I forgot, I think there's a barbecue place in there, if I recall. Let's go see. Okay, now I remember they do have a barbecue place here but it wasn't open yet. We're too early, of course. So, uh, let's go. It's good. I feel good. I stretch my legs, so... Let's, uh... We only have another half an hour or something like that to get back to the office. So, let's go. I know it seems like I'm always doing this. 
and I am doing it a lot. We have a new driver starting. I got to take the old letters off of their old company and then put our letters on. So pause and uh, talk amongst yourselves while I do this and then we'll continue on with the video. All right, so we're done. Uh, I, it only took a few minutes. Uh, sorry to uh, make you guys wait. We had to get this done. This driver's in and out now. It looks pretty good. All right. Since we were uh, last week, we were doing a log audit. I thought it would be just fun to look at this briefly. This is my log for the trip that we just took. Um, this is everything that we did, the times, the notes that we put in the log, and this is uh, looking at what we uh, the trip that we just took uh, from the back end of it. So I'm actually auditing my own log. We did okay. And uh, the reason we weren't in sleeper berth, if you'll notice up here, which I, we harp on all the time, is because we didn't go in the sleeper berth at all. We were genuinely off duty uh, as far as the truck goes for, for up there on that uh, off duty line. So I just wanted to show you that briefly. We won't be doing much more logging type stuff unless you guys would like to see it. If you want to see it, I'll do more, but um, it's, I mean, it's not that compelling. But because we did it last week, like I keep saying, uh, I wanted to show you this. So let's uh, find something else to do and we'll get ready to go back up and get that trailer. To find out what happens next, this might be a good time to subscribe to the Indiana Jack Trucker YouTube page, but join us on Facebook also at facebook.com slash Indiana Jack. Trucking really is an adventure.